afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I wanted to do a market review after today of the QQQs. The reason is because, for some reason, the QQQs have been lagging behind the SPY. Let's just look here at the S&P. This looks very, very strong. Very, very strong. In fact, we're moving up here after hours a little bit. Let's just take a look at that. So we have an, a Fed minutes announcement tomorrow. My prediction is that we blow higher on that announcement. And we already are positive on the year in the S&P and the SPY, but not yet in the Qs. Previous high over here on January 5th was 110.18. That seems like a long way away from here, but we could gap up tomorrow morning and then have a big move into the Fed announcement that could follow through into the rest of the week and finally bring us green on the year. And that's really what needs to happen for everything to get going back together in sync. This, the S&P is doing it. QQQs have got to get their butts moving. So this is the pivotal level here, around 107.25, 107.50-ish. And when we've, we've got over that level, the 106.25, 106.30 from last week. But we're just inching our way along. It's almost like we're waiting, waiting, waiting. This really was the turnaround day here in the market, March 1st. Never broke the low in here, even though we came down in this day. Beautiful move. This was the turnaround day for the market. I believe we don't look back. So we'll see what happens tomorrow on the uh, announcement at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But look for a big explosive move in the market. My call is that not only do we move higher, but that we have an explosive move higher. Because the market's really been waiting to do it. If you look at the trading action since the first, we've almost gone nowhere. We're almost digesting the whole situation of the prior rally up in here because remember if you go back to here on the 11th it's February 11th a month ago the low in here of this day was 95 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 it took us about two weeks but in two weeks we did like a hundred percent retracement of the drop off from the year and rallied up ten dollars in the queues and 20 some bucks in the S&P so if you really think about it, it's almost like for a solid two weeks now we've been digesting the large move that we had when we held back in here. And do you see how we held really, really well in here? Even though the S&P and the QQQs look different in here now together in the last couple of days, really, the Qs never even tested the anomaly day. Whereas the SPY did a couple of times. Let me just show you here. So you see this here? So this was the anomaly day, but I just want to point out, see, we never got anywhere down there at all. So finally, I believe tomorrow is the day that everything comes together in sync and follows through with the turnaround day that happened here on March 1st. So my tip of the day is be long something strong before the, before the Fed announcement tomorrow. I'm in Amazon calls. Uh, if you're in a day trade, you got to be careful because things can whip around. Like you could be in something with a stop, but it could take you out and then go on to work. So it's almost like you'd be better being in something long overnight or an option because you don't want to get whipped around in a day trade because it can be whippy. But the overall direction I'm calling for the to be positive tomorrow after the news and then the follow through. And I'm looking for not only to it to react positively, but to have an explosive move. It's almost like we've been waiting for two weeks since we had the turnaround day to do a big move up because we clearly are up. We definitely are up. And everyone has been looking at this and saying this is a bear market rally. That's not how I'm calling it. Okay, I'm not calling it like that at all because of the way that I'm reading the gaps. I'm reading the bullish gaps and the bearish gaps. However, I can see why people are saying this is a bear market rally because it hasn't really got going anywhere. But that's not how I read this trading action. I'm reading this trading action as rest days. The market's resting. It's resting after it made 100% retracement of a two month drop off within two weeks. A big move up very, very quickly. And it's, it's digesting it, it's resting. It's getting ready to break out higher. And any reason to do that, it's gonna do it. And the reason, I don't even think it needs a reason, but I think it's waiting for the reason, which is tomorrow. 
So look for buying to come into the market tomorrow at 2 o'clock. We'll see what happens. My suggestion is, though, it could be an explosive mood, so it'd be good to be long something. Take a long trade, take your normal risk, and you follow it through. Have a great day, everyone. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. If you're interested in learning how I predict stocks and trading with me and taking the Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.